Good afternoon my friends. I just arrived at Saiwell Aerodrome car park. And I'm going to show you now inside. And now I'm inside here at uh, Silverstone Auction. So they will have outside that is not open to the public. Over 300 clubs they will be here like the Ferraris, Lamborghinis, etc. Supercars, hypercars and all sorts between guys. I can't wait to go inside. I, I missed the week. Let's go. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Mr. Week channel. As you know, I do like to make videos about cars, motorcycles, caravans, my own life, challenge, food reviews. Really? Oh, are you kidding me? Please, no F words in my channel. Holy moly. So let's do this epic video. Stay tuned. Hello guys, here I am with Mr. JWW. This guy is a legend. I'm a big fan of you. Dude, nice I'm a big fan of you. you. It's a real pleasure to be here. Uh, thank Thanks. you. Yeah, I know you're you. gonna do the gamble once again. Now tell me, you have used this car two, two years ago, is that right? Last year. Oh, last On year. Last year's gamble. Um, it was wild, man. We So last year's gamble, it was a really interesting year. They went to the Middle East, and we decided to take this this classic car to the Beautiful. middle of the Omani Desert, Beautiful. which was a challenge in itself. But I've been very, very fortunate over the years to do quite a few gumballs, and we wanted to mix it up, and we wanted to take something totally different. And, it and there's nothing like unique. there's nothing like a classic Jag in the desert to be a real juxtaposition amongst all of those other yeah. supercars. So would that be wrong to say? Uh, this car actually is a classic, is an is a legend. I love Absolutely. this type of car. But yeah, you have, I don't say you, but in a way you have great, to have better brakes, better engine, or I'm wrong to say. You what is this you is are running? correct to say. Oh, so you. this is what you would, you would sort of a uh, top line class as a resto mod. So wow. a resto mod is where you take an existing older car mm -hmm. and you apply technologies and upgrades to it, which didn't exist when the car was made. So in the 1960s, there was you know, no carbon fiber, you know yes, what I mean? Exactly. Uh, <laughs> E-types did have disc brakes, but they weren't great. Yeah. And so it was <laughs> about, oh, okay, how do we improve this? Um, chassis strengthening, upgrading the engine. The, en the engine is entirely brand new. The internals of it are all entirely rebuilt. There's titanium components in there. There's magnesium cool, components on it. Cool. And uh, it's all about making this car lighter, stronger. And stiffer, reliable. Reliable, so, yeah, it's, yeah, so yeah. it starts and stops. Yeah, yeah. Um, and up, just up Upgrading the safety and dynamics of it, you know, right. like you right. wouldn't be able to stick those tires, for example, on an original uh, E-Type oh, without see. upgrading with everything else. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Suspension components, yeah. etc. So yeah. yeah, that's what I was very sad actually when the car broke down because you didn't finish. Is that right? Yes. I so, saw the car on. Well, actually, it didn't break down. We oh, we didn't. We ended up getting a, a pebble through the oil cooler. Oh wow. A stone um, on Gumball. You're like following close. Yeah, yeah, close. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you look here, there's no actual. Oh yes, no mesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just totally open. As much hair so as possible. So I yeah. thought it had just overheated and popped, but it turned out we got a stone through it, which, a stone. which wasn't great. No. So, so uh, yeah, we ended up in uh, the back of a truck, not finishing in, <laughs> in that joking. car. And I was really, I was truly honoured that somebody from a man uh, lent me a McLaren 765 LT to do three <laughs> days of it, and then at the end he threw me the keys to his Bugatti Chiron and said, "Cross the line in this." Which, Are you kidding which me? Is ridiculous. So. Yeah, man, it was galactic. Was yeah, that's what I'm that's calling it. Exactly. Such is the Gumball family, you know. It's yeah, just, it's that is really, really cool. Actually, it's not about the, how fast you do, is it? It's about not the association. Meet new people, new petrol heads. They are there. Exactly that, man. All of us, they can share. My dream would be one day to do. Watch this space. You never know. You never know. And it would be a dream come true with Mr. JJ. You never know. You never know. That is my Brilliant, dream. Man. I will see you in London. You will. Yeah, yeah, yeah brother. You will. Thanks Take ever care. so much. Thanks really appreciate, much. appreciate you. Are an amazing. And I love your YouTube channel. I that, Thank man. you very Thank much. You. Here, Thanks, once guys. again.
I know all of you perhaps they have seen this Audi R8 V10 this is the case but I want to bring you to your attention look how cool it looks this paint actually it's got glitter the Maserati MC20 this is the cheapest supercar at the moment in the market Porsche Aston Martin V12 there's a Porsche GTS the Aston Martin DBS Porsche GT3 RS. This, this car actually costs almost 200,000 pounds. This is a 4 litre, 525 brake horsepower, 465 newton meters of torque, and a top speed of 184 miles an hour. Love this light green with a half roll cage inside. Stunning. Have you been on a track today? No. No, I'm surprised because they, they won't, should have they won't let me. No way! They won't let me on the track. I don't know why, but they won't let me. I know why, because this guy is worth a lot of money. He used to be Stig, he lost his job, and now he's helping uh, Sporting Bears Motor Club. This is a charity, guys. You can pay a small amount. I don't know how much it is at the moment. They are charged. About 40 50 pounds for a ride down the runway. 350 did you? 40, 40 to 50 pounds. Wow, that is not too bad. 50 pounds, that is still yeah. a bargain. Some, so a little bit, some of the other cars are a little bit more. Is it? But obviously you have to book, I mean, we are getting very full. Oh, what a fantastic idea, guys. You go on a truck, you can go on a supercar, maybe a hypercar, 50 pounds. You do think, oh, it's a lot of money. No, it isn't. The cars, perhaps they go, they are worth millions of pounds or even half a million pounds. So actually, here's a bargain. Here, brother, nice to see you again. There's plenty of uh, Lamborghinis here because you are at the Lamborghini Club UK. And these guys, let me to tell you, they got always awesome cars here from new one to old ish as i can see just at the bottom there's a, a lamborghini diablo my goodness love this club look at the amazing cars they are here the lamborghini huracan has been wrapped in purple with some slight black in the center or even in a roof this is a stunner ferrari 360 but this is the stradale as they're awesome cars here there's the ferrari um 488 there's a mclaren uh, 765 i just saw in a corner we got the 600 lt nice in this very uh, bright yellow the porsche gts the aston martin dvs super Leggera. My goodness, look at this. Is this like the replica of the F1 pace car? That's what it is. I just saw it. A few Jaguar supercharger. My goodness, look at the Ferrari F12. A few Porsches here. The Pista in yellow always look amazing as we move here to a GT3 RS and Ariel Aton. This is a prototype from Volkswagen. Isn't he cute? There's a Defender there, a Toyota Gear. This is a weapon, actually. There's a, a Porsche RS 4 litre, not the 3.6, as we got here, the GT4 RS. Actually, it's a weapon. This car is pretty cool. My goodness, look at the McLaren Senna in this very beautiful full carbon in green. Nice details, this car. Jaguar E-Type and this is the car from Mr. JWW. I presume he's gonna use them this year for the Gumball 3000. Should we start here with the actual former two racing car there's plenty of here because you can go on a runway i think it's 600 yards lengthwise so this year they allow people actually to bring racing cars why did it bring this here would be too slow isn't oh my goodness they got the skyline r35 gtr A 458, nice actually in the pearl white with a nice red interior. <laughs> a few motorcycles here. 
Skyline R33 GTR in white always looks amazing. This is a Chevrolet pickup 765 LT the Gallardo in blue. The Lamborghini Huracan STO. This is pretty cool. Love these cars by the way. Nice motorcycle here. Nice, this is a BMW, actually it's a replica of the bike who won the Alain Le Mans last year. <laughs> Guys, a big fan of both of you, I love your cars. Yeah. I was so sad when you sold the, the, the R35. Yeah, but Because I, I did so, yeah, yeah, yeah obvious. I'm just, <laughs> I, I'm just saying that because it's one of my favorite yeah. supercars, believe it or not. And it's really cheap. I don't know if you can, I don't. <laughs> I don't know if you remember guys, we, we met for the first time back 2019 at the NEC. NEC. Yeah. Do you remember? I don't I know remember. if it was you or him who hold the I camera. Yeah. Do you remember who hold the camera? I didn't know if it was yeah. your name because one of your colleagues, remember, used to be a ma that tall yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, he went with the foot all over yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't believe it. I'm always <laughs> yeah, happy to see. You. Love your car. Yeah, By the way, you. how's your missus? Okay. Yeah, Is she here? No. I'm oh, she's not into good. cars. She is, but um, it's only two seats in the, in the Good, good. Right How's the business? Is it busy? It's or? actually good, it's actually good. No, it's good. Congratulations, man. Yeah. I'm so proud of both of you. Thank you. Thank you yeah, yeah, again. Have Let's a take one. a quick photo on you too, brother. Yeah. Awesome cars. The Nissan R34 GTR, the R35 GTR. My goodness, all of them, they are so beautiful. Yeah. Is the Toyota. GT86, big fan, the Nissan S14, the Ferrari 488, nice, and there's Nico's uh, Audi um, R8 V10, remember now the new ones, they come with a V8. We are here now on the supercar paddock. Look how busy it is here, guys. Very busy. Jaguar X J220. This will be on again ball next week, actually. Pretty cool. There's an Aston Martin there. Yeah, I think this is the XJ15. Very similar to the 220 Porsche 918. The hybrid car, supercar, so I call them. We are here in an area where there's plenty of clubs from Lamborghini, Porsche, Ferrari, Lotus, there's a Ferrari 812 just leaving, there's a Pista in blue that is rare and gorgeous. Wow, doesn't it sound nice? Look at this guy, Ardo, with this huge carbon spoiler. This car is cool actually. They do come with a Honda engine, but you can buy actually a twin turbo with a motorcycle engine. There's a 599. Awesome. Doesn't it sound incredible? <laughs> <laughs> that was loud, my goodness. The Aventador. Wow, goodness. He's off too and some cars they are living already, strange. Oh my goodness, awesome car. There's a, a Nissan R34 GTR in Bayside Blue. There's plenty of cars here, I want to show you. My goodness, that looks is what? half a mile from here there's plenty of cars here you could park actually your car here and pay 50 pounds so you could be here with the supercar my goodness that is 400 yards i think he, i could see some tents there
there's an Enzo is preparing to go on track. Look at that Porsche 949. That is very rare and beautiful. As we're going to see some supercars now living. This is the Ventador. He's got a, a nice wrap in this quite nice grey. I would say maybe it's half a mile just there with so many of them here on the line. Look at that Nissan R35 Nismo. There's a Mercedes GTS. That Aventador sounds amazing. My second favorite car ever. I just love this car. I do, okay. Love your car. Yeah. Very good. My favorite car ever. Yeah, for me. I just love this car. Really steady. I do, brother. Nice to see you. This is my favorite car ever. I reckon it's the fastest as well. You need to take me on a track. This is a beauty, is it? And I love this car, that's why, because of that. After so many years, this is still beautiful. The new GT40. This is cool, actually, in black, and it looks amazing. Can't even hear the car in the Ventador, just arriving there in grey, and it looks stunning in right and drive. <laughs> can see almost the passenger who's just there. Look at him. So we got a Ford GT40, always look good. In black as well, the McLaren 600 LT, is that right? Beautiful in this nice, actually, blue and orange as well. We got a Bugatti just going right now. Nice in black and orange and is left and drive and that's why I love this car it won't surprise me look at the Ferrari SP2 this is stunning isn't it yeah beautiful very rare this car let me to tell you this is cool and different another Ferrari beautiful the 296 this is really stunning There's a Ferrari F12, cute in this white. We got another one in yellow here, right and drive as well. Oh my goodness, look at this Aston Martin Valkyrie. This is one of the best cars or hyper cars, I would say, at the moment. Lamborghini Huracan on air ride. Look at those forged wheels. It just looks stunning, isn't it? 20 inch wheels. the new Ferrari 296 GTB that actually is a 488 that is a limited edition track a car so it's not road legal this is a weapon and it's left and drive that's what I like there's a Roma there and another 296 
Can't afford to get frat. Stunned in your foreign car. Mm -mm. You keep buying rental tax. Mm -mm. Ew. Hey. Ferrari F8 Tributo. There's an American car, the SS Cool. As we move here to Ferrari 812, super fast. That is stunning. It's been wrapped as well, and I do like that. As we move here to a, a Lamborghini Huracan in black. What have we got there? I think it's a Radical. This is um, a racing car that actually you can use on the road. The MV Augusta. My friends, I'm going to end my video here by two iconic and legend cars. The Ferrari 55 and the Ferrari 488. It's still actually with foreigner plates, so perhaps it did drove far away to come here. This show was incredible. I'm finishing here by the VIP car park because inside or behind yourselves uh, 200 yards the music is very loud there. Is music loud everywhere these days and I do struggle because I would like to speak and I can't because if I do that uh, they will claim the copyright on the songs and YouTube wouldn't pay me the little money actually they do pay me. Thank you to Mr. JWW for having a chat with me really enjoy this show did that the Vava room guys stay tuned for another 10 years of Mr. Wiggs videos guys you are all awesome thanks for watching I'll see you on the next one <laughs>